Wow, that's all I have to say about this movie and your performance. Um, how on earth did you get through this script initially? Uh, it is that kind of feeling. But when you get through it, you feel such a sense of relief that you're allowed to have that feeling. I think, um, I think society doesn't really want us to show that or feel that because it's big. It's big, but it's, it's what we need to do, and I think this film is cathartic in that way. I think it just allows us to feel and get in touch with that kind of loss, and how can we make life sweeter for ourselves and, and cherish what we have, you know? Yeah. Did you prepare in any special way for it? Meet with maybe widows with 9-11? We didn't meet with widows. We did a lot of rehearsals. I know people who, who lost um, loved ones. Um, uh, I was here on that day, so I saw it all. Uh, we did a lot of rehearsals, a lot of research on who this mother was, what the family was, um, what her relationship was with her husband, and what relationship she didn't have with her child. And um, we were able to have access to uh, the phone messages that the those people that were left behind received from the people who were in the tower. And they were um, the thing I was most amazed by was that at that moment when I think the person realized they were they were not going to make it. They left mo messages of hope and love and affection and, and, and something. They gave a gift to those left behind that they'll always have. I'm sure the, the, the devastation of not having been there to have that, that connection, but they were left with this gift of love. And I, I was so amazed at the tremendous humanity that came out of such an inhumane act. Yeah. Uh, you've had some your share of leading men over the years, that's for sure. But I need to talk about Thomas Horn. Oh, my, my word! God, yes, discuss. Yes. Um, <laughs> every once in a while, a, a human being is made that is absolute perfection. They all are, but there's something about Thomas that exudes an energy that you know is going to change the world in some way, shape, or form. Um, he is going to do good on levels that we can't even imagine. And as an actor, he'd never acted. He looked at this as an opportunity. Stephen worked with him and helped pull out this emotional life that Thomas obviously possesses. And the two of them worked together to create that brilliance that you see. How did you take him under your wing? How did you help him? I did not help him. I, I had a hard time not helping him and that's the relationship they had. But he and I rehearsed so much together and had a, an understanding offset of such love and support that we knew that once we had to walk on set and have the relationship we did, we, we had safety for each other. You have to make the other person safe. And he's, he's not an adult. He's not a seasoned actor, yet he gave me more safety and a better performance. Um, than I ever could have imagined. Yeah, it's just extraordinary, yeah, really. Yeah, that's him. Um, I was saying, you know, this is the movie that you need a box of Kleenex to go to. Yeah. No question about mm -hmm. it. I could yeah. not stop sobbing from beginning to end. And, you know, you feel cathartic and all after, but yeah. it really makes you think. But I have to know, what, what movie impacted you? What movie did you, do you remember the last movie that made you just cry? Like, and it can't be a Sandra Bullock yeah. film. Yeah, <laughs> they make me cry in other ways. Um, I th the movie that I always remember when people ask me that question is Cinema Paradiso. Uh, it hits me on a level of, of uh, a memory level that just floors me every single time. It's about what got away, what was lost, what have I done wrong that I need to make amends for. Um, so many things, your first kiss, what f your first love felt like, life, cinema, what the cinema makes you feel, youth, it's gone, what do you, you know, there's just, it just has so many levels to it that reminds me of so many things in life that I just, I'm floored yeah. each and every time in the music, in the score, it's, it's, it, that's the one that, that gets me every time. I can't imagine now, like, since the last time we talked, of course, you're a mom now, and mm -hmm. I, it's so congratulations, he's adorable. <laughs> well, you know, to, making a movie like this must make you want to just go home every day and just hug a movie tighter. I'd do that anyway, but I needed him with me when I did it. Um, it but I think, I hope this movie does that for everyone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. You, you might want to kill your parents. You might want to kill your son or die. You're like, I love you so much, but yet I want to strangle you. But you love them so much. So why don't you start with that and and um, just it's I know life is hard and it's fast and we get distracted by so many other things but really the only thing that matters is that yeah. it's the only thing that matters really and truly just give into it <laughs> let go and give into it and it'll make your life sweeter you're so right uh, congratulations on this and thank it's always you. a pleasure talking thank to you, you. thank you thanks for great questions I'm gonna go cry now go go have a <laughs>